Good morning, good afternoon, welcome to Richmond, California. <laughs> My name is Jessica Guadalupe Tobar, I work with Communities for a Better Environment. Where are you at, CBE folks? Yeah. Say hello. Woo! <laughs> this project is about, is about processing thicker crude oil here at the Richmond Chevron Refinery. We are not okay with that. We are not okay with them bringing tar sands, tar sands and desecrating Canada, bringing tar sands over to Richmond to refine. That kind of stuff requires higher temperatures, higher pressures to refine. That can cause more accidents, more spills, more fires, more incidents at the refinery. And the people who are vulnerable are the workers. It is, their, it is their lives that are in jeopardy every day at the refinery. It is also the lives of the surrounding community. The community here of Richmond is already suffering from respiratory problems, is already suffering from cancer. We buried two very important people the end of last year. That is an awful thing that happens, unfortunately, too regularly here in this community, and we're not okay with it. And we're not okay with Chevron trying to bring thicker crude oil to refine here in Richmond. That is not okay. One thing I wanted to share with you guys, we know that Chevron has a dirty track record. And they've lied time and time again to this community. Well, they've been lying also to the agencies and to the city. They keep telling the community that they're not going to process thicker crude oil. And they keep telling agencies they don't have the technology to process that thicker crude oil, yet they're telling the water board that they do have some process called DAV salting something unit, which is what they need in order to break down the hydrocarbons of thicker crude oil. In addition to that, there, there's also a pipeline in the process that would be built by Praxair. That pipeline is a hydrogen pipeline that would run from the Richmond Chevron refinery to the Rodeo ConocoPhillips refinery to the Shell Martinez refinery. Why do they need hydrogen? Well, they need hydrogen to remove that high content of sulfur that the thicker crude oil has. They're laying down the infrastructure to be able to process thicker crude oil, but they've disguised it as upgrades to the refinery. We know Chevron has been dishonest in the past, and we know that they're lying to our faces right now. So we need just your support this Thursday. This Thursday, March 20th at 7 p.m., the Planning Commission at City Hall here in Richmond the Planning Commission will be looking at the application for the land use permit and the EIR of this project. And that EIR, what we're saying is that it's deficient because it's hiding what this project is truly about. It's not disclosing what kind of oil they're going to be bringing to this Richmond plant. It's not disclosing what kind of emissions there are. Chevron is claiming that there's only 1% sulfur emissions and nothing else. And therefore the emissions are, are insignificant. That is not true. They're, dis they're not disclosing the metals that are going to be emitted here. They're not disclosing the fact that all that sulfur they're removing from that thicker crude oil is going to be emitted here in Richmond. They're not, they're not addressing the issues that's supposed to be in any environmental impact report. So what we're demanding is that, this, that the Planning Commission reject that, that EIR and reject this process. Send them back to the drawing board because it's not okay what they're doing. We're not okay with their lies. We're not okay with them trying to process thicker crude oil. We need your support this Thursday. Thank you very much.